Welcome back, DeFi Rebels. My name is Ben, or Aaron Discord, and I got something to show you guys today. I got a potential 170% swing on DYDX that I'm going to show you. Maybe you've seen the same thing that I've seen. Maybe you haven't, but it's a pattern. Uh, we're trading inside of trend lines. I mean, all the telltale signs are there. Granted, it depends on what happens with the FOMC meeting this week, what Bitcoin does. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, though. But I'm going to show you, you know, if you five times uh, short this, you know, or 10 times short this, uh, your your upside potential as far as money to be made goes is huge. And this isn't a video shitting on DYDX or, or pushing DYDX. This is just simply to make money. That's what I'm here for. Um, I don't even so much care what DYDX is, even though I know what it is. It's an exchange. Um, I'm just here to make money. So let me show you guys this. Before we do that, make sure you like, you comment, subscribe, turn on those notifications. We go live twice a day where we look at charts. We teach TA, got a whole series on learning TA, and we got a, a Discord community that is great. So all of our links are down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's just jump right into this. Let me show you what I'm seeing. All right, so peep it. DYDX on uh, the daily time frame kind of you know does what most new launch coins does you know they give coins to to whales to investors vcs you know whatever um and then it kind of pumps up shoots down pumps up shoots down you know we have the kind of top here uh, back on october 21st october 5th of 2021 and then just like everything else we were kind of in like a death spiral but it's kind of caught its legs now you know, we're kind of been trading sideways, pumping up a little bit here and there, kind of like Bitcoin has done, right? Following Bitcoin there. Um, but, you know, before, let's pull up DYDX coin. If I can spell this morning. Market cap, 409 million. It's not a small coin, right? I'm not talking a 50 million market cap coin. Um, you know, this is ranked number 90. So it's in the top 100 of tokens, the liquidity there, the volumes there, um, you know, the volume for the last 24 hours up 111% or at 249 million, um, you know, circulating supply. I mean, everything's there, right? It is an exchange. You know, I know I said, I wouldn't talk about what it is or, or what, but it's, you know, it's an exchange, but so just to give you a little backstory, it's a solid coin. It's not some meme coin or anything like that. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way, take a look and see what I saw this morning, right? I'm gonna exaggerate this again. This is on the daily time frame. You know, if we draw our trend lines, go back to there, do something like that, do something like that, and what do I see? what what pops out to me well a couple things pop out to me right so we have a triple bottom and a triple top so top 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 so we bottom you know almost a quadruple bottom really boom 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 so here's my point patterns are going to repeat themselves that's what a pattern is a pattern is something that repeats itself right um, when we're talking about charts and things like in this definition of a pattern, I should say. So bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, you know, th this one was a little weird, but not really, um, you know, and so was this one. This was just an elongated bottom, you know, almost kind of like even, even, even a little bit of a cup and a handle that we shot up, but bottom, you know, quadruple bottom triple top so if this pattern repeats itself which they do that's what ta is is pattern recognition trend lines i mean i have a whole video series on it and actually i'm going to link that down below so check it out but if we continue this this channel just to put it in perspective is 170 percent. so that's where i got the 170 percent number from which we have now three times i mean really we could probably get rid of this one because this was the real kind of heavy bottom before we shot back up um three times up three times down triple top triple bottom if this pattern repeats itself you have the potential to make 
170% if you short it. Now, I'm not telling you this is going to happen. What I'm telling you is to put DYDX on to your watch list and put it at the top with the Fed meeting coming up with with uh, the, the current economy, with everything that's going on, um, you know, Bitcoin potentially reaching a top. I'm not saying it did. I'm saying it's potential because we are retracing today a little bit. Uh, we, you know, if we start to retrace even harder, we could retrace this because we've done it now three times, three times we've done this. So uh, this is my number one watch coin right now. I'm not, you know, I'm watching other stuff for smaller moves, right? For scalps, for swing trading, things like that. But this is a large swing and the pattern is there. You know, we're inside this channel. We're at the top of the channel right now. Do we come back down and retest the bottom? I think we do. I think we do. Um, I'm not saying take a short position right now because, um, I mean, we're up. But if we start, if everything starts kind of retracing, if the market goes to a downturn, if we go into a correction, if the numbers this week at, from the Fed meeting and everything else and, and you know, earnings and, and everything else lines up, this is a coin you need to be watching. Because if you five times leverage a short on this, um, what is that like? That's five times 175. What is that like? 750, something like that. 800% almost. I mean, that is huge potential earnings. Now, this is a daily chart. So it's not like this is going to drop 170% in a day. As you can see here, this took many days to play out. Some more than others. Like this swing took one, two, three, four, five days. Um, this one took even more. So this is on a daily time frame. So this is not something that's going to happen overnight. But pay attention to this. And look, again, I want to stress, I'm not telling you to take a position. I'm not telling you to do anything. Do your own research, right? I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just showing you what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing, and what I'm watching. And this is, as you can see, towards the top of my watch list now. I mean, this is uh, potential for big gains. And uh, I'm going to take advantage of it if everything lines up perfectly. I'm not entering a position now. I'm going to wait to see what happens. It'd be stupid to enter a position now, right? Uh, you got to watch and see what this these next few candles do, these next couple candles do, how it plays out, how the FOMC meeting this week goes, how all the, the earnings and economic data that kind of rolls in and see what happens, right? See, see what happens because I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you know, if we start to retrace, if the market starts to turn down, which today it is, you know, tomorrow might be another story, uh, you know, lots of money could be made on DYDX. Make sure you're watching it. I'll continue, continuously chart this, uh, play with it, look at, you know, different time frames, watch for moves, you know, on the smaller time frames. Let me put my indicators back up, actually. Here, let me turn them back on. Uh, let's go back to the daily chart. You know, we're starting to get into the oversold territory. We did print a red dot yesterday. Sorry, that was, yeah, yep, yesterday, Sunday. So we're starting to kind of come down a little bit as everything else is, you know, money flow is still there. We're still in the positive, but it looks like it's starting to kind of go flat. People are starting to take short positions. The VWAP is starting to come down on it, but we're, we're, we're there, you know, smaller time frames, I guess, doesn't even really matter because we're looking at the daily chart, you know, it's going to be up, it's going to be down, but the daily chart is what you want to watch for that pattern to continue, right? You know? quarterly high so for the last quarter you know we're at it what well, we're at it you know weekly high daily high period daily high low low so throw this on your charts watch it you got your liquidity pools here you can see a lot of people are thinking the exact same thing as i said as i am you know look at these orders down here you know 10 percent of the total orders right down here into that zone into that low, which we've been trading in, which is the value area low. So we're going to probably come back and retest that, All right? Boom, value area low, clear out these orders, boom, come up to here again, clear out. Everyone's thinking the same thing. That's why you have these buy orders um, at the top and at the bottom. I mean, everything is telling me that this pattern is going to repeat itself, make some money, 
pay attention, hop in discord. I'll be charting this stuff. If you have any questions, I'm in there talking. I'm all day long. I'm in a voice channel. If you want to come and talk to me again, my name in discord is air, but this thing is gonna, is gonna continue on its pattern until it doesn't again, don't take a position yet. Do your own research. Uh, when I take a position, I'll announce it in discord, but I'm going to wait and see what happens, you know, see what happens with Wednesday's, uh, fed meeting, what Papa Powell says, and just go from there. But I just wanted to show you guys what I saw here, what I'm seeing here possible for, to make some money on the down and then maybe even on the up again, if we continue the pattern. I mean, this is a, a pretty sweet opportunity. One that you don't see that often with this big of a swing with 170% swing, um, treating like this, excuse me, but that's it guys. I just wanted to point this out today. Appreciate you guys for watching, smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. And we go live twice a day, right? Mornings, evenings, turn on those notifications, hop in discord with us and we'll see you guys later. Bye.